Hello, I'm Michael and in today's video we're going to focus on Lightroom and I want to show you a trick which you can use to make working with the brush in the masking feature of Lightroom much more intuitive. So let's jump right into it. For this tutorial we're going to look at a photo I captured a few days ago in the Bavarian forest and I already applied the basic raw settings to this photo. What I now want to do is to guide the viewer a bit and typically what I could use for that is one of the masks here and I like to use the brush. Now the problem with the brush typically is you would need to paint first. So let's just do this for example with a flow of 25. I would paint in the mask now where I want it here in the outer parts but I don't see the effect yet. Next I would dial in the effect and now working with a flow of 25 I might build it up. Then I might make changes here to the settings and I don't like this workflow. What I like to do is first dial in the effect as I want it and then I want to paint it in selectively where I want it. This is a similar workflow as I would use in Photoshop where I would use an adjustment layer, dial in the settings, then invert the mask and paint in the effect. Now how can we do this in Lightroom? So let's first delete this mask and start over again. I create a new mask which is a brush. And now we're at the same stage as we were before, but there is a trick now. What we can do is, let's bring out here this side pane and zoom out to like 12%, which gives me enough space around the image. And that's key. What I now want to do is I place one brush stroke outside of a frame and that's important. So just here. Now what this does, you see here the little brush, this shows me the mask is now active. If you look up here, you see it's black because we just painted outside of the image. Now let's hide this again and go back to the normal view. What I can now do is I can go up here to the side and click on invert. Now the complete mask is white, which means every setting I now do here will be visible. So I can now go in and bring down the exposure, add a bit of contrast, remove the dehaze, so really fine tune what I want to do. Bring up the shadows a bit, down the highlights, so I'm going for a moody look in this image, so kind of a vignette in the end. So really darkening it down. I can now really fine tune where I want to go. So let's do it like this. Now what I can do, I click on invert and all the settings I just made are gone again. And now's the time where I can adjust the brush size, maybe use flow of 25 and start painting in the effects which I just applied. So this is now the way I like it because with flow of 25 I can gradually paint in the effect and I already know where I'm going. So if I end up at 100% this is what I just dialed in in those settings here while I was in the inward mode. But now I can gradually build it up and I can maybe increase the flow a bit go to like 50 and now just paint it in here on the outside parts of the image. So that's an approach I like to use. Now let me delete this mask again. And now I want to show you the inverse, what we can also do. Let's create a new brush here and do the same. So first give it a stroke outside to activate the mask. Then go to invert, dial in my settings. So really making it dark, bring up the blacks because I want to preserve them. And now what I can do, I leave it in the invert and I just want to remove the settings I did from certain places. For example here in the river. Now what I can do if I hold down Alt it switches me over to the minus brush. So basically I'm now taking away from the mask and I can now just remove the effect from certain areas like for example here the flow of water. So you see with this little trick which allows you to first dial in your brush settings and then either add in the effect or remove the effect from certain areas, you can make much better adjustments than if you would first have to draw blindly your mask, then dial in the settings, then refine your mask, adjust the settings again. So this workflow for me is much more intuitive. Yeah, and that's it for this little tutorial. I hope you liked it and also if you like my editing, maybe consider purchasing one of my in-depth tutorials. So I've just released a new one which is called Editing Architecture Photos and in it I go through my complete refined workflow for editing, in this case cityscape photos, but it's the same workflow for landscapes and other 
genres here I go really through my workflow in Lightroom and in Photoshop so yeah, if you're interested head over to my homepage I'll leave a link in the description tutorials available for $30 so I think a reasonable price but don't worry I'll also continue to make those free little tutorials here on YouTube so so make sure to subscribe to my channel and yeah see you in the next video bye